Hey guys, I'm David. That's Jason. This is Views Podcast. Back to the New York hotel rooms. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one, listen. What is a good ho- New York hotel room for you? Well, I've never had one. Oh. And I told Natalie, I was like, Natalie, t- no budget this time. Go ahead and book me a cool fucking room. Surprise me. So she, and I, I need like a big room because like when I'm in these little rooms, I feel like I'm just, I feel like I'm sleeping on an airplane and I don't get real sleep. Really? Like it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm claustrophobic. I don't know what it is. This is first world problems because of fuck. I don't even know why I'm talking sure. about this. But, um, but yeah, all the rooms here remind me of like, have you ever seen like those videos of like, of like those little hostels in China? Yes. Where it's like everyone sleeps in a pod. <laughs> That's what yeah. the shit's like. Like they're really cool and they look super futuristic, yeah. but you're still sleeping in like a, in like a, robotic coffin mm-hmm. like that's how it's so small yeah um, it feels like you've gone to, to jail in switzerland where the jails are really nice yeah yeah <laughs> it's exactly like that and i told natalie i was like natalie give me a good room and she's like okay i'm gonna surprise you get ready <laughs> so we flew out we flew out here we're really excited it's 9 a.m because we flew in overnight and natalie natalie goes to her room i go to my room and right as I'm opening my room, I get a text from her saying, I fucked up. <laughs> She's like, these rooms looked a lot bigger in person. And then I opened my room. Oh, my God. I stepped in and I was immediately in the bathroom. And the next step I took, my foot hit the glass because I was already at the end of the room. <laughs> the rooms are small. I don't know. But New York. And that's New York, though. You should, yeah. you should, you know what you should do? You should stay at like a Marriott or a Hyatt yeah. or a Hilton. The rooms will be big, yeah. bigger. Do you know that one in 21 people in New York are millionaires? Wow, really? Yeah, fun fact. Hmm. Maybe we should move here. Why well, would what would that do? You would just add to the 20 statistic. <laughs> yeah, I know, but maybe I'll like catch on. You just be you'd be one of the 20. Yeah, maybe I'd invest in something like small hotel rooms. I mean, you have to be a fucking millionaire to live in this city. Every everything's so expensive. I I was here last night before David. I met Snooky last night. Oh, how was that? Yeah. You know, I should know not to ask a celebrity for a photo. I should know, right? No, Snooky's different. Okay, because I could tell before I asked. I was like, she's not going to want to take a photo with me. Really? She, yeah, she was there at this BuzzFeed thing I was doing, and, uh, and she was there with all the girls from Jersey Shore, and they were drinking, and they were loud, and they were like doing their thing. You know what were I mean? Were they on camera? They, they were in a segment, uh, not in the same segment as me, but yeah, they had to go on and like taste a bunch of food. Oh, make, but make it, it was, they weren't filming Jersey Shore. No, but they were like the, the New York celebrities that they got there. Oh, they were like yeah. the biggest celebs that they got at this thing. That and de Blasio, who's the mayor. And, uh, and, uh, and I was like, I don't know. I've just always liked her. I don't know why. Yeah, she seems like your type. Yeah, she's just fun. Yeah. And she's kind of like loud mouth. And you feel like you know her. Yeah. You know what I mean? So anyways, I walked up to her and I was like, I was like hey, I was like, I was like, you think I could get a, a selfie really quick? And she was totally annoyed. You know, and, uh, <laughs> and, she, and she was walking out too. I I had had fucking six hours to ask her because yeah. we were there all day rehearsing. She was like, "Yeah, okay." And then her friend goes, uh, her "Friend goes, he's famous on the internet, like that about me." And she goes, "She goes, ah, uh, that's great. Take the picture, <laughs> like that." Oh, she was. Oh, I read your tweet about this. I thought she got excited. When her friend said you were famous on the Oh, night. maybe the tweet came off wrong then. No, it was more like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, Just take the picture. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I had a dream the other day that you were in New York because I was still in LA. Yeah. I just realized this was a dream. Yeah. Listening to you say the Snooki story. Um, I, I ran into Adam Sandler. Mm. And I filmed with him the entire day. We were filming for like seven hours. Oh, my God. And it was just me and him in the car. And we couldn't really figure out anything. And I was calling. I was like, Jason, where the fuck are you, bro? Me and Adam can't figure out anything to film. Oh, my God. And that just reminds me. I remember when I when I went up to Adam Sandler to ask for a picture. It's like I asked him at literally the worst time. Like he was he was leaving a premiere. Yeah. For his own movie. Yeah. And he was finally with his kids. And oh, no. I, I, yeah, that's the worst. Never ask anybody for a picture when they're with his kids. Uh, with their kids. He was super nice. He's like, I can't right now with my family, but I just felt so bad. I was like, what the fuck am I asking? <laughs> I needed the picture cause I was promoting the movie. So I needed a picture like for the movie, but I was like, what the fuck am I asking him when he's with his family? What's wrong with me? Yeah, um, but he gets it. Yeah, no, I mean, whatever. But, um, but yeah, and then the other day we went to go to the premiere of, uh, we're just name dropping all the cool things we did the last three <laughs> fucking days. And the other day we uh, hung out with Quentin yeah, yeah. Tarantino. <laughs> no, the other day we went to the premiere of once upon a time in Hollywood. That was really fun. The movie Sick was great. Sick movie. Tarantino's latest. He only makes a movie every five years. Oh, is that the rule? Well, it's not the rule, but I mean, 
Oh, I can't remember the last one. That that's came how out. it's come out. Is yeah, the they're 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 art films. You know, they're Bra- like Brad Pitt's in it, DiCaprio's in it, and Margot Robbie's in it, which are like the three biggest hitters. And a lot of the movie was filmed on Jason's street, mm-hmm. like Jason's, like where he lives, like his actual house. Like you see all of his neighbors in the shot, mm-hmm. which is fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Cause I remember we left the movie and immediately we went to Jason's house cause he was giving me, he was doing like a surprise for me and it was literally like we were in the fucking movie. Yeah. It was like, it was the exact, it was, I don't know. That was really bizarre. When you me. go to movies, do you absorb the character? So the first 30 seconds you walk out of the movie, you think you're still in the movie. Yeah, Ever? of course. Like every time I leave like <laughs> a, a fast car movie, yeah. I speed. Right. Like I'm going like a hundred. Like, I walked out feeling like Leonardo DiCaprio. Whoa, whoa, and, then, whoa. and then like I couldn't find you in the bathroom, and I was like, "No, Leonardo DiCaprio would be able to find him." <laughs> you sound a little crazy thinking you're DiCaprio. <laughs> no, it's it's insane. It's insanity. That's, That's why I'm stretch. bringing it up. But we saw we saw Quentin Tarantino on the carpet, and Jeff went up to Quentin Tarantino. If you don't know, he's a huge director, like one of the biggest, t- top five probably of all time, right? Top ten, top five. Yeah, definitely top ten. Yeah, um, he's a huge director, and Jeff goes up to him and shakes his hand, and he he goes. You got what it takes. Is that what yeah, he's, yeah. He's, you got what it takes. Yeah. Um, and, and Jeff just told us he laughed. And then Jeff would tell us the story. <laughs> He'd tell us that story over and over again. And what would he do? He would tell it over and over again. And each time he would tell it, he would embellish a little bit more, like Quentin's reaction. And, yeah. So and how, how much Quentin laughed. Like the first time it was like, I said what it takes. And Quentin Tarantino didn't really know what to say. Yeah. And by the end, it was like, he was fucking, he loved it. He loved what I said. He, he was, was dying. He said what it takes back to me. He was laughing so fucking hard. Yeah. He shook my hand back, gave me a hug. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm having dinner with his family tomorrow. Yeah, no, he was, he was really getting into the story. No, the movie, the movie was great. Um, I got a cool, uh, picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. I could have gotten a cooler one, but I was too slow. I was, I was like, I was standing right in front of him cause I knew where he was about to walk. Right. And I was like ready to take a picture and I was already holding it like on him. And then he walks by and he goes, and he points to my camera like a cool movie <laughs> star. And he goes, Oh wow, that's interesting. Cause I was the only person with a disposable camera. And like, I, I was listening to what he was saying and I wasn't taking the picture and I snapped it right after, right after he stopped pointing. So I missed the cool moment. David, now when he goes to these premieres, he, hands his vlog camera over to someone and just walks around with this disposable camera. Oh, it's so great. Which is pretty funny. It's pretty funny to see. I'm sure if, if I didn't know you, I'd be like, what the, who the fuck's that kid just walking around with a disposable? It's funny. What's he hoping to like, get Because like Margo here? and DiCaprio and like Quentin were all like in like a roped off section in, mm-hmm. on the, on the, on the uh, carpet. And then I saw John Stamos in that same section. And that was like my aunt. I went, John! And he went, David! And I went, <laughs> Fuck yes. And I walked over. I hopped over like the, the little ropes they had to block him off. And, no, and nobody said anything because I was going to say hi to John Stamos and he was cool with it. Right. So all the security was like, oh, he's cool. He's cool. <laughs> um, and I remember I remember we were uh, we 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 got tickets to the premiere, yeah. but we, we weren't allowed on that portion of the carpet. Yeah, right. But we were going we were going like t- into the theater to watch the movie. And, and a bunch of people came up to us, like the perfect timing, a bunch of people came up to us like saying, David, David, Jason, can we have a picture? Can we have a picture? And, um, all the security saw this and I was just like, Oh, fuck it. Let's try to get on the carpet. Let's use this energy. Mm -hmm. So, so I was like, we're actually trying to go there on the carpet. And one of the security guards was like, no, 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 no. You can't, you know, the credentials. Cause we didn't. And then two security guards walked over and, and they go, es un actor, es un actor. <laughs> and and, and the, the woman security guard, guard goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were an actor. Because the other security guards saw them. People were asking for pictures. I was like, fuck yes. We we're definitely not actors. But that got us on the carpet. So that what was great. What happened to your Margot Robbie picture? Um, Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. I posted it. You didn't see? No. Oh, well, it came out? Well, it came, so what happened was I got... I got a Margot Robbie picture. I was really happy with it. How'd you get that one? Um, just walked right up? I just walked up and I was like, Margot, can I please just have a picture of you? And she goes, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> She's very sweet. Um, and, I, and I took it and I took it and I remember. <laughs> David right, also looks like he might be 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So too. super so easy. really unassuming. And I remember I took it and I go. I, the disposable <laughs> ages you down a bunch. Right after I snapped the picture, I go. Oh my God. Thank God. <laughs> and she just fucking, she looked at me and started laughing. Like I was like 10 years old. 
<laughs> and I remember there was like all these press like outlets like right by me and they were just watching me and Margo because we were the only ones like in that area mm-hmm. and they just all started cracking up at like me like having like a <laughs> like almost fainting after I took the picture um, but uh, yeah if no, I did it they'd be like this guy's gonna go take it home develop it masturbate, masturbate to, to it, it. Yeah, yeah this guy's a fucking creep um, no but I took the picture and then um, and then I got to the party that the, the surprise party that Jason was throwing me and um, and they decided to throw me in the pool um, which was fine. But yeah, I don't understand when you throw somebody in the pool, you don't check to see if their phone is not in there. Well, here's the thing, old man. Uh, no, no, I'm no, not old man. I know. I know this. All, all I know all iPhones are fucking waterproof. I still wouldn't throw somebody in the pool with the all, iPhone. But they're all just waterproof. It's done. That, that's, that's like a fear. It doesn't matter what else is in their pockets. could be anything. Okay, well, this was a moment where there was something else in my pocket. And were both of my disposable cameras that I took on the carpet. So I was like, fuck, this is screwed. Like I, I was, I was in the worst mood after I got thrown in the pool. I was like, I, yeah, it took you out of the party for like 45 minutes. Yeah. I was just sitting Everyone there. was sitting around with David and there's the most like crazy party going on. And he was just like so upset about his disposable. Yeah. I was just sitting there. So, so beat. And then, and then the next morning, um, Cass and Natalie took it to the, to the place to get developed. And I was like, I fucking hope that the water damage didn't destroy the pictures. And the guy's like, I'm on the phone with the guy, like walking through the pictures one by one. I'm like, is there a blonde girl in there? Is there a blonde girl in the pictures? Mm -hmm. And he goes, not in this one. I see someone with brown hair. I go, no, that's not it. And he goes, okay, I see somebody, I see a man with, I'm like, that's not it. We're going through pictures one by one, like seeing which ones made it. And then he went through all of them. He's like, no, there's no red carpet pictures here at all. And then I just fucking, then I had like this like brain blast. I was like, oh my God, I left it in the jacket. So I walked it to my car. No. And it was in the jacket of my, yeah, it was in the jacket of, of what I wore to the premiere. So the, the camera's never in the water. Oh, it's great. Yeah, so. Which photo do you like better, the DiCaprio one or the Mar- Which one came out better? The DiCaprio one. I just found out. I found out uh, when you take disposables, you can't stand too close to the people because that's what, when, you, when I stand close to you and it's the daylight, um, the flash just fucking this is such a stupid thing. I should have realized this way sooner. But when I take a picture of you um, and I'm close, the flash just lights you up. Yeah. And black, it makes everything in the background black. Oh. So it looks like it's the nighttime. So DiCaprio's picture, I was standing far enough where I saw everything. Uh-huh. But Margo's, I was so close to her where you only saw her. Oh. So that's, that's what I learned. Little photography secret. Yeah, you're on your way, man. Dude, there's a lot of fucking people... Um, Don't you think it's weird that your dad's a photographer and now you're following in his footsteps? Well, my dad actually always wanted to be a director. Isn't that that funny? That was his dream job is to direct stuff. Um, I don't know if um, me directing the vlogs. um, (laughs) I don't know why I said that as if I'm a fucking director. Well, actually, Jason, my dad always wanted to be a director, which I've always already been. No, uh, Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese. Yeah, you know us. David Dobrik. You know us directors. Um, No, but uh, dude, have you seen how many disposable pages are popping up? No. Oh my God. A A lot. Yeah. It's like, um, someone, someone from my hometown, Hillary Duff's disposables. I don't know. I don't know who says it, but someone from my, someone, someone close to me was like, I went to go buy a disposable camera and the people at the store were telling me that they just got a shipment last morning and they were sold out already that they don't know why they're selling so quickly. Wow. They've never sold this quickly. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God. That is so cool. I definitely didn't start the trend. Right. I want to say that I definitely stole it from like my friends. Uh Um, but I feel fucking that's really exciting. 